Hi, my name is Scott Weber. I'm a product manager here at Blue Marble Geographics. And today we're gonna to look at how to do a point calculation in our new cloud-based application, Geographic Calculator Cloud. To get started with Geographic Calculator Cloud, go to calculator.bluemarblegeo.com. Once you have a Blue Marble account, sign in with a Geographic Calculator desktop or trial order. Then under Calculator, select Point to convert or transform a single coordinate. This is often used to validate data to a control sheet, for example. The interface is powerful and flexible. In this example, we'll be working left to right, but the operation direction can be easily reversed. First, we start by using the search button to begin to select our coordinate system. We can either browse through the folder tree or search by a text string. We'll browse for NAD27 in the North America folder. Note that if our coordinate has a vertical component, we would also set the vertical coordinate system as well. Then we enter an input coordinate in decimal degrees in this case, and note that most common formats can be entered without setting the input format. If needed, there is a format control below. Now by default, the target coordinate system and coordinate transformations are filtered to contain the input coordinate. Then we select the target coordinate system. This time we'll search using a text string, NAT83, 2011. If we want to view information about our selection, we can use the info buttons. Now the datums do not match here, so we need to select a coordinate transformation as well. At the bottom left, select the datum coordinate transformation NADCON5. Now NADCON5 is a series of transformations between each successive pair of North American datum realizations. So they're concatenated together as needed. So you can see here that we have five transformations concatenated together to get from NAD27 to NAD83 2011. Then clicking the process button, we see our output coordinate. Now this defaults to decimal degrees, and again, the format button can be used to set or control the output format in many ways. Now because we chose the NADCON5 transformation, we also have uncertainty values specific to the input position. So those are the five steps to process an individual point. And once you've mastered that point job, the other jobs follow the same logic, just with input and output file options included. For more information on point conversions or geographic calculator cloud in general, again, the URL is calculator.bluemarblegeo.com. Thanks for watching.